So it's video challenge day two, and I know I've got to this a little bit late. Today has been, well, it's organizational day, um, because, well, it's Saturday, so I'm supposed to be having a day off, but I don't really have days off. But it's my birthday on Tuesday, so I'm gonna try and have a day off then. But as I will show you here, I am doing a lot of organizing of all the projects that I've got going on just to organize my life because I'm thinking about the future now. And actually it's been really great going through some of these old papers. I'm only through the first pile at the moment because I've been looking at all my old notes for different blog posts, different um, projects like courses, recipes, recipe projects, tutorials, all of that. And I love looking at some of these old notes. I completely forgotten I'd written them because I just found some about types of allergy management and also just some random notes about allergies, how you manage your allergies. And I was just reading, one of them says here, um, it's like a flow chart I've written. So I'll show you here. So being allergy safe, you need to have safe food, um, which you can control most of the to time. and by controlling it, it's your choices and actions, so that keeps you safe. Then also being allergy safe is a safe environment that you can control. If you can't um, control being allergy safe, you need to be confident in the knowledge and ability to look after yourself. So how do you do that? Well, it's all about learning about your allergy and your allergy needs and your, for your well-being and accepting your allergy then um, use this knowledge to build your confidence, find solutions to challenges, and that helps you feel more empowered yourself to live the life you want. So for me, I feel most of the time I am in control of my allergy and I try and keep it that way because I try and keep in control of what I can. So I cook my own food quite a lot. If I'm going out, um, you know, I'll ask the waiter, I'll check the menu, I'll choose things that I believe are going to be safer like grilled food for me be unless they have a satay sauce on something grilled food is generally fine so that is what I go for also recently um, I went to the supermarket and they have like loads of nuts on sale because it's winter so they're coming out and they're all in the like free um, boxes so you just scoop up how much you want to put them in the bag kind of like in and it's in the fruit and veg section and I was really upset well not really upset but I was disappointed well, not really disappointed, but I wanted to buy sweet potatoes and the sweet potatoes are right next to the walnuts, which are right next to the peanuts. And then there's like a few other um, cartons of free nuts. So I was just like, you know what? We can do without sweet potato for a while until the nuts are not there anymore. So you know what? That's what it is. I knew what my allergy need was and I was like, well, I just won't have sweet potatoes from this shop. I'll just have to go to a different one to get them if I want them. And instead I bought butternut squash and celeriac and I thought that was quite a good alternative. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that. And I am currently having a massive tidy up because, well, I thought the new year starts in January on the 1st, obviously, as you all know, but I thought, well, what do I want? I mean, it's the same when you're thinking about your allergies, like you need to think, what do you want for your life? Now, personally, I have my allergies fairly under control in how I manage them, and I know that I've got the skills to manage them, as I was just talking about. So, now what do I want from my life? What do I want? Where do I want to take eat allergy safe? What do I want to do with it in 2018? So, I decided, well, I've got loads of rubbish lying around, and I have a bin here, which, which is slowly, as you can see, filling up and found this great system to organize myself called getting things done names in the in the title kind of self well, very self-evident and yeah so this is what i'm doing and if you have any questions for me oh also my chocolate book if you're on the email list you'll be getting emails and some hacks and some freebies over the next few days so make sure you sign up sign up at eatallergiesafe.com but yeah when you're managing your allergies, think further in the future. Think, what do you want for your life? And then just make your allergies fit around that, how you manage them. Because 
they don't need to hold you back. They, you can feel empowered by just knowing what you can't have, accepting it, and then doing everything else to keep yourself safe, but still doing the things you want, because most things actually are not affected by food. Like hobbies, unless, well, you're a cook or you want to be a chef, but that's fine still. Like, I think my cooking's got far better since I can't have nuts. Um, I discovered that gluten wasn't good for me back four or five years ago, and that has just made me think better. And then whenever I'm cooking for any of you and making recipes, top 14 free? I mean, you really have to put your thinking cap on. And I think that's great. So have a think. What do you want out of life? And just don't let your allergies hold you back. Think long term. Think bigger. And especially you parents out there, don't let your thinking be small because your children have a whole life ahead of them. So don't let your anxiety get to them. Just try and be empowered. Take control over what you can and that will help you feel empowered and feel empowered to manage your allergies. So that's it for today and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye bye for now.